going on our epic adventure today i'm going to show you how to take these artifacts that we find like i did this one and restore them so this is a piece got to have your piece of silver we've all dug coins that you just can't make them out anymore and they're no good there's a reason for that i'll show you these are the pieces this is the front sling On an 1855 Springfield musket. So this would have went like that. This piece would have went like this. If you can see that. If I can get out of the light. And that's your front sling. From here to here. So I'm going to show you what I do to restore these. And it's just a knapsack clip there. And I'm going to restore it as well. So I'm going to take you step by step and show you how to do it. So. Now a lot of times, the tumbler barrels, as we use them so much, they get wore out. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but that gap goes all the way through and is separated. If you can, right underneath my finger there, but that gap is what's gave way so you take an old peanut butter jar like this and a lot of times in the beginning you have to use two-sided tape so that way it's got a good bite good grip the key thing is to fill enough aquarium rock in this with your piece that as it shit as it rotates it will shift over and slide over that piece All right, so our first tumble is the 30-minute tumble. And that way, you want to put just a little bit in the bottom. Set your piece in. Let me try to get out of the light there. So you can kind of see it's down to eh, about three quarters of the way down and put your pieces in on top and they can touch it doesn't matter you can see they're in there then you want to take the rest of your rock and fill like I said you want to fill it up enough to make sure that it covers it and yet enough that when you put it in the tumbler it'll so about like so and if it's not enough I mean you'll know pretty quick you can always pop the top on it add a little more rock in it but you want to see it as it turns it's constantly moving not getting caught and just sitting there shifting back and forth all right and now we're going to put the vinegar in now this time i'm not going to use hot sauce uh, to counteract the vinegar So you can see I've got probably about an inch of liquid in there uh, above the aquarium rock. And I always use dark colored rocks because that way it's going to, uh, any pieces that come off, you can pick them out of that a lot easier than you can lighter colored rocks. I don't know what that is floating there. All right. Now we put our lid on. And like I said, with the, the, the piece of silver, I mean, all that's, uh, you'll, you'll see it really makes it come out nice like that. So, all right, now we're going to go back to the tumbler and get it going.
when you just sit on the tumble and let it go. Now you can see as these rocks are turning that they're going on over. And that's what cleans that piece. You only can clean it for 30 minutes. All right, so here we're ready. We got the silver. Um, we're gonna put that in here. We've did our 30 minute tumble. We got them as clean as we could. And they came out pretty decent. I'm not too worried about these. These ain't gonna be take near as long as the trigger guard did. <clears throat> so we'll see if it'll clean them up, make them look just like that. All right, folks. This is after. And yeah, let me try to get this light on here. A little better. Twelve hours of tumbling and kind of see some of the original uh, color there. That looks pretty cool. Really did a great job on it. So, knapsack hook. It came out really good. Well, that's good stuff right there. So, I'm probably going to stop there. Anyway. All right. We'll see what's next.